Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom moving to Fall River now. Today, Northeast Alternatives was open for its second day of recreational marijuana sales, and it's already making some changes. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loschuto checked in with staff today to see how they're handling the crowd and the attention. She joins us live in, in the newsroom now with a follow-up. One of the co-owners tells me things are going very smoothly, although it is very busy. The whole time I was there doing interviews, people were coming in the door nonstop. It's day two for legal recreational marijuana sales here at Northeast Alternatives in Fall River. Yeah, yeah, we were really excited yesterday at the way it all worked. Eyewitness News was there on opening day when customers were being asked to use an app called QList to get a virtual place in line. To avoid major crowds, it tells you when to head to the shop. But as of Monday, you can now walk in without the app, as long as you have a valid ID proving you're at least 21. We're allowing for walk-ins, and then we're monitoring the lines. And if it gets too crowded, then we're going to go to the QList system. Uh, likely that will be on peak days. Peak days are expected to be on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Rosier says with the weather, football game, and now holiday, it's hard to tell what an average day will look like. So far, they're counting about 100 customers per hour. Um, you know, we've been monitoring the Cannabis Control Commission data. We think it's going to average around 1,000 customers a day. But again, we're, we're, we're figuring that out. And the shop owners want to clarify they are still open for medical marijuana as well. They even have a separate line for medical marijuana people, so you aren't mixed in with those coming in for recreational use. Reporting in the control room, I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.